Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, you will learn the two techniques of how to convert a color image into black and white and also add some blur effect to the clouds. So as you can see, this is an colored image uh, Empire State Building in New York and we are about to change it to black and white and also add some blur to the images. The main highlight of this technique is to give the building a more nostalgic effect and also it took like that clouds were moving apart from the building which gives a more kind of a stunning and dramatic effect to the picture okay as you can see i have already imported my file if you like to import your file you need to click on the file button and then click on the open and then you need to choose the file and click open alternatively you can also press shortcut like ctrl o and you can do the same thing as you can see, I have already imported the file and let's uh, create a duplicate file of it by pressing Ctrl G and give it a name like uh, New York. As we have made a copy of it, uh, we can uh, unhide our original file just clicking on the I button. Now we can click on the adjustment layer and choose black and white. So choosing the black and white adjustment layer, we can see a lot of channels like red, yellow, green, blue, cyan. These are the channels which are actually present in our photo. So as you can see in our photo, there are a lot of those kind of a channel like yellow, red. So what we do, we based on that we change the channel. So as I am decreasing the yellow channel, it's giving me a lot of contrasting depth and kind of a darkening same with the red kind of a channel so i am just going through each kind of a channel so that what setting actually suits my picture and give me a desired uh, kind of a output which i am looking for so this is a bit about black and white adjustment layer. also there is an alternative way which uh, we can use to do the same thing so for that we need to go to the our uh, image menu and there we can see the calculation setting and this calculation we can change the blending part to out overlay solid light or whatever which suits your desired output which you are looking for as I am changing some of the settings so that uh, whatever the desired depth which I am looking for am I getting or not after going through every channel and going through every blending kind of a thing I am just seeing that which setting actually suits my overall image and as I am satisfied with it I click OK and I move ahead aside to the layer section there is a channel section you can see a new layer has been created which is named alpha 1 just click on it and press ctrl a to select the layer and then copy it create a new layer in the layer section and just ctrl v to paste the layer and it will become a new layer and it has the same kind of effect which we have already created using the adjustment layer as the first part of our section has been completed uh, by converting a color photo to black and white image now for the second part what we do we need to select the cloud for that we need to click on the quick selection mask uh, we click on the quick selection mask then we choose the cloud which we want to give a motion effect uh, for the unwanted section just press alt and deselect it and by left click you can choose the parts which you want to move or give a motion to select all those areas as you can see we are able to select uh, all the areas which we wanted for this uh, image so after selecting those areas we can now move ahead with the blur effect Just click on the filter menu 
and you choose the blur gallery and choose the path blur effect and with the tool you need to just give the points towards where you want to move your object so i am giving kind of a points so that my object is moving towards the building as you can see there is a motion has been created uh, those clouds are being moving away from the building uh, if you are satisfied with those just press ok and after that pressing ok the blur effect will be executed and if you are satisfied with that you just press uh, ctrl D which will deselect all the selected area as you can see our blur effect has been added to the image and it's looking a great uh, kind of effect to the image which I am satisfied if you like this tutorial please like share and comment and also subscribe to this channel and in coming days I will come up with a lot of tutorials like this which will help you in your designer journey thank you and have a nice day